Hi. Hello. Wonderful humans of Earth. I'm Jimmy Tripp, also known as Brainwave, or Brainwave, also known as Jimmy Tripp, but it doesn't really matter which. You call me because I'll accept either name. Yes. All right. Welcome to the Take a Trip podcast. That's trip with two P's, not three P's, not one P, but two P's, because that is how you spell my last name. It has often been misspelled throughout my life. That is why I thought I would clarify that. Yes. Uh, This is the first installment, first episode. I'm pretty excited about recording this right now. I'm very busy lately. I have a lot that I have going on just in personal life. Uh, Also in trying to preserve what uh, little social life I still have with friends and family. It's pretty terrible, actually. I need to get a little bit better about balancing that out. Uh, Yeah. Um... This is something I've wanted to do for a while now. Um, Two summers ago, I was developing a video game, so that's kind of where most of my energy and focus went into. Um, I was also making the soundtrack for it, um, and that got about 33 uh, tracks in. Uh, Most of which I have released to my SoundCloud, so I will link that in the description if you would like to listen to that, um, any of those songs from the soundtrack. But the game itself has actually been discontinued. I have decided that I it was a learning experience. I learned a lot about scripting and <clears throat> variables and like setting up switches and stuff for different events to take place within the game's flow. It's a RPG game, top-down role-playing game, like an old classic SNES or GBA style um, type of RPG. Um, but yes, I've discontinued that, uh, so I will probably try to develop another video game at some point in the near future, uh, or the late future, I don't really know. Um, if that's something you would even be interested in, let me know, because that would actually be much easier with a team of developers. I don't think that's something I would necessarily want to pursue all entirely on my own at this point, because I'm mostly just investing my time into music at this point. I... And I know I've said at this point a lot. You could probably count the number of times I've said at this point. That's just a habit of mine. I'm sorry. Uh, (laughs) So, yes, music. Music has been the full focus lately for me. I've been pouring out about like 60, 70 hours a week just into projects um, in my in the comfort of my bedroom. Yes, I am a bedroom producer. Uh, and you can expect to hear new music from me fairly soon. Actually, I have a track coming soon called Mean Hygiene, um, and that's actually going to be released on November 30th. Yes, so uh, that's going to be released with a music video as well. That's the other thing. I've also been trying to get into film and like editing and like uh, just animation, stuff like that, uh, which is, has been very interesting. It's been very interesting. It's been a ride because I use my phone camera. I use my phone camera to capture everything. And you could probably imagine that with an iPhone 6, the quality is iffy. So I run it through seriously just an unholy, unorthodox amount of filters just to get it to look a little less iPhone-ish. Yeah. Um, Now, I have a habit of being on Facebook while I talk to myself, and it just so happens that today I'm recording myself while I'm talking to myself, which is amazing, Um, because now you get to listen, assuming you've listened this far in already. Uh, Yeah, so I'm scrolling through my friends list at the moment, uh, and what that's helped allow me to do lately is see each and every face and name to my friends or family and then just pray like pray for each one each person individually subjectively like exclusively for like what their own needs are at the time i may not actually tell them that i may not actually be very good about communicating or expressing communication to my friends and saying hey I'm letting you know I'm sending you good vibes, good vibrations, good energy right now, positive, uplifting thoughts, encouragement. I may not be good about that, but that is what I'm doing presently, even as I scroll 
<laughs> so I've tried to make a habit of turning doom scrolling into uplifting, encouraging, intentional scrolling, um, which has been very interesting lately. Very, very interesting lately. Um, okay, so anyway, what else is new? Um, another update just in the life of me. I've been also writing a book. I've been writing a book for about the past year, year and a half now. It's got about 57 sections, I believe, uh, something like that. Um, some of the topics that I'll be discussing on these podcasts will actually be also or also be discussed in the book. So, yeah, look forward to that at some point. It's mostly spiritual stuff and like contemporary issues based and stuff like that. It's kind of an outlet, an outlet to channel that extra energy that's pent up within myself. So it's, it's been very nice for that. Um, because those of you that actually know me very personally, you understand that I have a lot going on in my head, basically at all times. Um, meditation helps, prayer helps, talking to people helps, therapy, medications, you know, the likes, the works, the whole nine yards, um, just all of that. And basically tried everything at this point for the, the evolution, I would call it the evolution or the mindfulness of my own mental health. Yes. So that's all the big stuff going on in the life of me right now. Uh, yes. Animation book writing, lots of music focus, lots of recording focus, uh, lots of video editing focus, filming focus, uh, potential video game development again later. So, yeah. Uh, and that's that's really all. This is, uh, I guess, just the introduction video, honestly. This podcast video will not be as long as the others because the others will go in-depth into very deep topics that we're going to explore also very hot takes and controversial topics on a lot of things because I'm a very imaginative, imaginative, creative person that is just by nature, very artistic. So I have a lot of hot takes and seemingly controversial views on a lot of beliefs, uh, especially when it comes to talking about anything related to politics or religion. Um, most of my views don't really fit in with <laughs> honestly anyone. So <laughs> it's crazy, man. Uh, but anyway, yes. So I'll be diving into a lot of stuff that's kind of like spiritual topics, uh, some politics a little bit, but I don't want to go super heavy into that because I've been trying to get very far away from that again because of how detrimental it has truly been in the long term to my mental health. Um, so maybe tiny touches on like economics and government, but hopefully I won't go too crazy into that. I don't want to become a, a super nut here, you know? Um, what else? Probably going to talk about the Dow in a video to come. I'm planning to talk about the Tao Te Ching or the Tao Te Ching, uh, written by Lao Tzu, a Chinese author, um, from hundreds, hundreds of years ago. Let me look it up on Google really quick. So I'm actually educated and informed before I speak any more about this. Uh, Tao De Ching. It was published in English in 1868 for the first time, but it dates back as far as the fourth century. That is just how old this piece of work is. If you think about like what the Bible, the Holy Bible, you know, Judaism, Judaism, sorry, uh, Christianity uh, is in Western civilization and culture and society. Think that the or imagine that the Tao Te Ching or Taoism or Taoism is that for the Chinese. That is, it, it's it's all cultural. It is all cultural. That's what I'm trying to say here. There's a lot of insight in it. I can't wait to share what some of my thoughts on it. Um, like really, because I've actually I'm about to listen to the audiobook of the Tao Te Ching for the third time. Because I just love it so much. I, I love it that much. 
Um, and I would argue that it is because of the Tao Te Ching, among other things, that I, I deepened my own walk or journey or relationship with my own higher power self or Jesus Christ, so to speak, or, uh, you know, even leaned back into Christianity some again. So, um, yeah. Looking forward to definitely sharing all that, uh, and if that's something that you're you're interested in listening to, uh, just let me know. Yeah, I would love to share more stuff like this. So yes, the Take a Trip podcast is finally going. Um, I'm gonna hope get some friends you know friends and family on here to share experiences and testimonies and discuss topics as well because this is going to go into so many directions guys this this isn't just going to be spiritual or like political i'm hoping that it's actually less of that and more into like more relatable down-to-earth cultural topics again as well like video games i want to discuss video games again like nostalgic video games and like the impact that video games have actually had on just you know not only my life but all of my friends my friends lives um and then like movies i want to like discuss movies tv shows i want to discuss music definitely want to talk a lot about music because that would only make sense that with what i do for a a living you know or hopefully one day a living it would make sense that you know we would talk about some music some on this podcast yeah so take a trip podcast it's finally going man it's finally going this is something that in 2020 the year 2020 the the worst year of a lot of our lives you know i mean well not the worst i mean it was a lot of deep reflection that happened during that year it was an important year it was a very important year and we shouldn't forget we shouldn't forget why that year happened we shouldn't forget the lessons from that year we shouldn't forget why we needed a pandemic we shouldn't forget any of it because it all had to happen for a reason it was all very important um if we forget the lesson then we're doomed to fail so yes and i know that's kind of blunt but it's kind of true so yeah, uh, expect weird things to come. Yeah. Oh, with that, I'm out. Peace.